Welcome back drone fans to another exciting episode of Jamlong Drones. Today we take a closer look at the DJI Mini 2 charging hub and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe. So without wasting any more time let's jump into it. The DJI Mini 2 charging hub is one of those accessories that you want to get for this drone particularly because it's not included in the base package so you want to buy this separately. This thing promises to charge up to six different devices and you'll see the ports here so these are the ports and this is a section where I would plug in these attachments here to charge the battery and we're going to take a closer look at this attachment because it's very interesting and we have two USB ports here that we could use our USB cables to plug into and then to charge maybe the controller or maybe a cell phone or a tablet or whatever it is that you might have. Okay, so we've got the indicators at the top here. These are the light indicators and this will tell us how much charge or whether or not the battery needs to be charged. If we turn it around the back here, this is just the section where we will plug in the cable for our power source. Alright, so with that explained, I'm not quite sure what this symbol means, but I'll include it in the video just for those who are curious. So you'll see four Mini 2 here. And if you have a Mini 1 or Mini SE, you can use this to charge it as well. This cable um, is the first cable that I want to introduce to you. This is a cable that you'd plug into the back like that. And then let me just unravel this. And then you'd want to plug it into a power source. So I have one handy here and this thing is live so we can plug this in. So I'm just going to plug that in. And the minute we plug it in, you'll notice that there is a green light or a couple green lights coming up here. So here are the LED lights guys, like I said before. And these cables is what we would plug into to charge it. But before we get there, these batteries for the Mini 2, if we look closely at them, you'll see that there are, or there is a section where we can slide this end of the attachment in. So this has a couple terminal ends, so we would just slide it in like that. And it's nice and snug like that. So I'll put that battery down. And then I'll plug this end in. And if the battery needs to be charged, it will turn red. And if it doesn't, then it will stay green. So as it is now, this one does not need to be charged. So that's the reason why it's not ch um, changing colors. All right, so here's the other cool part, guys. So let's say you want to charge that controller. It's as easy as plugging the USB end. And I've had this thing for a little bit over two years now. So it's very durable. You know, I don't expose it to wet surroundings or anything like that. So you might want to keep that in mind, especially when you're using these electronic devices. So you want to keep your surroundings dry. So this controller, you just want to plug that end in. So we've plugged the end into the charging hub there. And we're just going to plug the C shape into this controller like that. And there you see it's charging. So as I was saying before, this thing can charge up to six different devices to date i just have two batteries for this so it's just one that i'll be using so i'm charging that right and it comes with four of these guys so if you have four batteries which is highly recommended you can charge all four of them at once simultaneously along with two devices here so if i wanted to charge a phone for example I'd plug the USB in just like that and then I take the C shape end here take this end here and I'll plug that in so you'll see you'll see that coming up in a while there it is guys so it's charging and all these things are still charging so it's a must have accessory if you plan to fly these types of drones especially the mini SE the mini 1 the mini 2 you need this accessory guys trust me highly recommended so with all this charging um, it's only fair to explain to you that 
this will charge a little bit higher than your standard adapter so if your phone supports for example fast charging or turbo charging it's the perfect thing to use so i just wanted to do this video guys just for those of you who might be curious about some of the things that we can use in terms of accessories for that drone and as time goes by we're going to be doing more reviews about some of the accessories that we can use with the mini 2 so just in case you guys have this drone you know you'll have an idea as to some of the things you can look out for so with that said until then it's jambling drones over and out